Hey guys, welcome to another video of the diet selection series. In the last video, we have seen the working principle of the MOV, its advantages, selection parameters and limitations. Well, to overcome those limitations, we can use the TVS diet. If you haven't seen the other video, I suggest you to have a look by clicking on this card. And in this session, we'll see what is a TVS diet. How is it different from the Zener diode, its working principle, its selection parameters, the difference between MOV and TVS diode, its advantages and disadvantages as well. So let's get started. Let's start with the question, what is a TVS diode? Its full form is transient voltage separation diode, which protects the sensitive semiconductor devices from damaging due to transient voltage. This is the symbol of unidirectional TVS diode and this is the bidirectional TVS diode. TVS diodes are connected in the circuit like this. It absorbs the transient current. Well, most of us get confused between Zener diode and TVS diode because VI characteristics of both diodes are the same. But TVS diodes are specially designed, tested and used for the transient voltage separation. Unlike Zener diodes which are used specifically for voltage regulation. Like MOV, the TVS diodes are also connected in the parallel to the components which have to be protected. When the circuit operates in the normal condition, then TVS diode acts as an open circuit having very high impedance across it. Although, a small leakage current is present there. When a transient state occurs, then the TVS diode acts as a short circuit and the transient current flows through the diode and voltage across the component, which needs to be protected, gets a clamping voltage provided by the TVS diode. The clamping voltage is a protective voltage which does not destroy the component and when the transient state passes by, the TVS diode again acts as an open circuit. You must be thinking, what is a transient state? Well, there are the temporary surges occur either in the voltage or current due to releasing stored energy present in the previous circuit. This could happen once due to electrostatic discharge or several times in the signal processing applications. These transients can fill sensitive circuits which might be very important for the system. TVS diodes are used in small power delivery applications. For example, telecom devices, input output devices, laptops, tablets, cell phones, hard drives, IoT modules, etc. etc. Now the question arises how to select a TVS diode? Well, we will start with its reverse standoff voltage, VRWM. This is a normal operating voltage of the diode. At this point, it has very high impedance across it. And this voltage changes from 2.8 volts to 440 volts. This parameter depends upon the working voltage of the component Next is the breakdown voltage level. It's also known as reverse breakdown voltage VBR. At this point, the TVS diode starts to conduct and resistance decreases for the transient state. This voltage is measured by testing. That is when the current in the diode increases like from 1 milliampere to 10 milliampere depending upon the diode's characteristics. Uh, quite confusing, isn't it? Well, it will be very easy to understand if you look at this VI characteristic of the TVS diode. This is actually a bidirectional VI characteristic curve. This is the reverse standoff voltage of the diode. And this is the breakdown voltage at test current IT, which shows that the diode has started conducting. Further, there is a peak pulse current that is IPP. It is the maximum permissible surge current 
where the diode can sustain without damaging. And this current is mentioned only for a transient state, which occurs for a fraction of second. That time as well is mentioned in manufacturer's data sheet. Fourth is the clamping voltage VC. It is the voltage when the transient state occurs and you need to suppress the voltage across the component to the optimum level. This value depends upon the component's maximum allowable input voltage. This is the clamping voltage in the curve where the voltage is nearly constant across the diode and it stays constant till the current value reaches to maximum IPP and then the diode may damage. Well, for better protection of sensitive components, the protection device should have fast response time, low clamping voltage and low standby current. However, MOVs and TVS diodes serve the same purpose as the protection of component from the transient. Then the question arises, what is the difference between both of them? The TVS diode has a lower clamping voltage with respect to MOVs. They have comparatively higher clamping voltage range. The TVS diode do not degrade over time if they are used in the boundaries of protection. But MOVs, on the other hand, degrade as it gets older even if there is no transient state occurred. The TVS diodes have lower capacitance allowing it to be used where signal sensitivity is very important, say in the USBs, where MOVs have higher capacitance and have higher energy as well as temperature tolerance. Hence, those can be used in high voltage applications. TVS diodes are more expensive than MOVs. Well, if you understand the comparison, then you will easily be able to differentiate where we can use a TVS diode and where we can use MOV. Well, this ends the series of the videos regarding selection of a diode. If you think I missed something, please let me know in the comment section. Hit the like button if you like this video. Subscribe to my channel to get the notification when I'll upload any cool stuff. And finally, thanks for watching.